Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Kill. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, I'm a life coach, a minister, and a business mentor. I train and certify women and men to become life coaches so they can work from home, drop their nine to fives, and create an income while making an influence. So if that sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure you click the subscribe button below and also click that bell so you can get your notifications every time I upload a video to the channel because my channel is all about empowering you to rise up as the leader that God has called you to be, activate beast mode and walk in your purpose, okay? So on today's video, I come to you, y'all know how I do, to encourage you, to motivate you, to uplift you, to inspire you. I come to let somebody know that God did not bring you this far to leave you. This is not where the point this is you are not at the point where God is dropping you off and he done with you and he finished with you. I want to tell you today that he didn't bring you this far to leave you, baby. You know you done been through some things, some things that you thought were going to take you out. You done been through some situations. You done had some experiences in your life. You done been through some circumstances, some trials and tribulations that when you was in that stuff, you felt like it was no way that you was going to make it. But look at you today. Didn't you make it? And I want to tell you that if you watching me today on this video, come on now. If you looking at me today, then that means that you are a divine one. That means that you have a purpose on your life. That's why you still here, baby. That's why your heart is still beating. And listen, I hear the Lord say some of you, you may feel like you on your last leg. You feel like you about to give in. You feel like you just about to give out. But I came to encourage you today to let you know that God is with you. He did not bring you this far to leave you. God said, I'm going to make sure you make it to your destiny. But like I was telling y'all on the other video, you got to choose your destiny. Even though that there's even though there's a destiny that God has chosen for your life, you still got to choose it. You still got to make up in your mind that I'm not going to give up on God. God is telling you today, I'm not going to give up on you. He says, I'm coming to save you. I am your rescue plan. Holy Spirit say, do not give up on me. God said, if you keep believing, I'm going to keep on walking with you. If you keep on believing, I'm going to keep on moving in your situation. Come on now. If you keep on believing, God said, I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. If you keep on believing, baby, God is going to heal your body. If you keep on believing, God said, I'm going to turn that wayward child home. I'm going to turn that wayward son, that wayward daughter, that child that done went astray, that a strange child. I hear the Lord say that I'm restoring your family today. If you keep on believing, baby, God say, I will make a way out of no way for you. He says, I am God, baby. And there is none like me. I hear the spirit of the Lord say that I'm going to move in your situation in a mighty way, but it's going to take some faith for you, baby. It's going to take some faith from you. The Bible says, according to your faith, be it unto you. Glory be to God. I want to tell y'all something today. God can't move in our situation if we don't have the faith, baby. Now in this earth, money is the currency. Meaning that if you have money, you can get whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. You can have whatever you want to have. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say, in the kingdom of heaven, baby, in the kingdom of God, faith is your currency. Meaning that if you don't have faith, you ain't going to be able to get nothing from God. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please him. You cannot please God except you believe that he is who he says he is and that he's able to do what he say he was going to do. And I want to tell you, baby, God say, I'm going to make sure he said, I'm going to lead you right on into the promised land. I was telling, I've been telling the divine ones for a long time since I even first started my ministry and my business. I've been saying this to the divine ones that God is going to lead us into the promised land. Now, I don't want to get to the promised land and I look behind me, I look around, look beside me and you ain't there. Come on now. I want you to be there with me. I want you to walk off in that thing with me. I want you to see the blessings of God all over your life. I want you to see your body healed. I want you to see your finances in order. I want you to see God making ways out of no ways. I want you to tap into that land of opportunity. Come on now, that land that is flowing with milk and honey, but you got to know and you got to understand today that God did not bring you this far to leave you. Come on now. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, be not weary in well-doing. God says, some of y'all done got weary, baby. You've been doing what the Holy Spirit has been instructing you to do, but you done got weary in your well-doing. I hear God say, be not weary, baby. Come on now. God is renewing. He's renewing your strength today. I hear God say that y'all are going to mount up with wings like an eagle, baby. Scripture say you're going to run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. I hear the Lord say, wait on me. I keep saying that. Don't get in a hurry. 
Don't get in a hurry. Please wait on God. And while you waiting, don't stand still. That don't mean, oh, I got to be still and I ain't going to do nothing. No, that means that you got to be working while you waiting. You got to be working on your mindset. Don't be like the children of Israel. When they got to the blessing, when they got to the thing that they had been praying for, they backed up off it and they turned around and they left because they had not worked on their mindsets. See, a lot of times we sit around, we wait on God, we praying and we praying for God to move in our situation. We praying for him to move in our circumstances, but we ain't been doing that work on our minds. Come on now. You ain't been getting your mindset in the right positioning. God can have treasures for you, baby. But if you ain't position your mind to receive this stuff, it's going to pass you by. And I don't want nobody's blessing to pass them by today. I want you to be encouraged as you listen to this message today. Be encouraged as you listen to this video and understand that God ain't left you. God say, you leave me. You change up on me. Come on now. You get into relationships and forget about me. You get these jobs that you prayed for and forget about me. But God said, I ain't left you. He said, I'm still here with you. I ain't never changed. He's an unchanging God, baby. And I hear God say, put your hand in my hand. And he said, I'm going to walk this path with you. That's the type of God that he is. That's what I love about him. He won't leave us out here by ourselves. He won't leave us out here to fight the enemy on our own. But he says, I have sent my spirit as a comforter for you. Come on now. You got to understand, baby, that God has sent his spirit as a comforter for you. You don't have to fight these battles alone. You don't have to go through your trials and your tribulations alone. See, the enemy want to make you think that you're all alone, that God ain't worried about you. God don't hear your prayers and God ain't studying you. The devil is a liar. He is a liar, baby. I came to tell you, God say, I'm with you now more than I have ever been with you before. I hear God say, now is your salvation even closer than when you first believed. God is with you now more, more than he's ever been with you before. Some of y'all feel like because you at your lowest point, you feel like you about to go in. You just feel like you just about to just cave in. You ain't got nothing left. God said, baby, that's when I'm the closest to you. The Bible says that he's close to those that have a broken heart and he saved as such as be of a contrite spirit. When your spirit is broken, when the enemy has broken you, that's when God is the closest to you, baby. See, I got to tell you today that it's an illusion. Everything you're dealing with, everything you're going through, God says it's not even real. I keep saying that on my set and on my other video, and I'm saying that to y'all today. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill. To those of you that's been watching my videos for a while, you're going to find that you're going to start hearing the same thing over and over and over in these videos. You probably already done picked up on that. Uh-huh. The Holy Spirit know what he's doing. God knows that repetition is the mother of skill. The only way you're going to be able to build a skill for something is if you repeat it over and over and over again. The only way this knowledge is going to get into your spirit and saturate your soul is if you hear it over and over and over again. Glory be to God. I came to let you know, baby, don't you give up on God. Don't you give up on him. Don't you listen to what these folks telling you. Don't you listen to these folks. When they sit up there laughing at you, laughing at your dream, laughing at your vision. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. God going to see to it that your vision come true. He going to see to it that your dreams come into reality. But you got to keep on believing, baby. You got to keep on walking in the faith. You got to keep on walking with him. Keep on moving with him. Don't leave God because he's right here. A lot of times you think that you disconnected from him, but he's not a distance from you. God say, I am right here with you. I've been with you the whole time. Let me tell you something. You can never be disconnected from God, baby, even if you tried. Because the earth is his and the fullness thereof belongs to him. You can make your bed in the deepest part of the sea. God said, I'm going to be right there too. He said, you can never be disconnected from me. You are only disconnected from within your mind. All it takes is a mindset shift. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That means that you can't try to be like everybody else and then try to serve God. You ain't going to be able to be like everybody else, baby. That's why the Bible says don't conform to the world. Come out of the norm. Come out of what society says is ordinary. Glory be to God. Yeah, they're going to think you crazy. Yeah, they're going to think you done lost your mind. They think I'm crazy sometimes. Think I done lost my mind. I don't care. Forget them folks. Come on now. I did lose my mind. I lost the mind of the world and I gained the mind of Christ. So I want to tell you that that's what you got to do. While you walking with God, you got to be willing to lose this mind that you gained from the world so that you can gain the mind of Christ. Jesus said that any man that put his hand to the plow and look back, 
He's not fit for the kingdom of God. I want to tell the divine ones today, baby, you got to go all in and don't you look back. I hear God say, don't you look back. God said, I'm still with you. I ain't left you. Don't y'all listen to the enemy. The enemy is a liar. Come on now. He is a liar. He's the father of his lies. God ain't left you, baby. God is still with you. He said, I did not bring you this far to leave you. And listen, I hear God say, I don't care what you did neither. He said, ain't you still breathing? Okay. Don't you still got a heartbeat? Okay, baby. God say, I'm still with you. You still got that purpose. And God said, I will protect that purpose by any means necessary. Let's ride. God ain't bring you this far to leave you, baby. Don't listen to the enemy. Don't listen to your haters. Don't listen to none of these folks that's speaking against the will of God for your life. Do what feels right in your spirit, too. Don't be listening to any and everybody telling you what to do, trying to direct your life, trying to tell you what to do and where to be and where to work and how to do this and how to do that. You got to do what your spirit man knows is right. Your spirit is your guide. Your spirit knows what you need to do. Glory be to God. Be encouraged today. Keep on walking with God. Keep on believing. Keep on having the faith of knowing that God didn't bring me this far to leave me. If God brought me out of that situation, and that's what some of y'all need to do. You need to let your mind run back on memory lane and think about how God brought you out of that situation when you was broke, busted, and disgusted. When you were robbing Peter to pay Paul. When your body was sick and the doctors had them gave up on you. Come on now. When you had something that they said could not be cured. Glory be to God. Whatever God has done for you, if you was, if you was depressed and you were sad all the time and then God restored your joy back to you, now you're smiling, now you're happy. You see, you got to, you got to let your mind run back and you got to keep that at the forefront of your mind because the enemy will always seek to destroy you. He will always seek. The Bible says he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly, baby. Glory be to God. I speak abundance over y'all today. I speak overflow. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. And I speak prosperity over each and every one of the divine ones. I want to tell you today that God did not bring you this far to leave you. Keep on walking, baby. And God said, for long, you're going to look up and you're going to be in the promised land. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill, your life coach and your motivational speaker. To all of my aspiring life coaches, if you aspire to do what I do, be a life coach. I want you to click the link in the description. Look into my life coach certification course. I offer two um, options for the course. You can get the basic or you get the advanced. Follow me on Instagram if you have any questions, concerns. If you're kind of on the fence about it, you don't know whether you should get certified or not. DM me on Instagram. Send me your questions, your concerns. I take questions all the time. Y'all send them to me. DM me. You can email me, support at IamLatoyaOkeel.com. Whichever is better for you, email or Instagram DM. Send me your questions, okay? Because I don't want y'all to waste not one more day living outside of your purpose. It's time for you to activate beast mode. You are not alone. I just told you that on this video that God ain't left you. God is still with you. He did not bring you this far to leave you. He's brought you out of all these trials and tribulations. So he's going to bring you into your purpose and he's going to see that you make it to your destiny. But you got to put that work in too. Okay. So y'all uh, DM me, <laughs> DM me on Instagram. Okay. I am Latoya O'Keele. Make sure you're following me as well. I love y'all so much and y'all have a blessed day.